7.10 at night, pitch dark, we're going to be breaking down some sticks. I can't believe it's this dark and we haven't even gone back an hour yet. Probably hard for you guys to see, but I gotta think that's at least three dollars worth of wood if I tie a string around it. Well, our vacuum cleaner we got a few years ago took a crap, so time to upgrade. We haven't been through winter, but I love hot cocoa. And it lights up. My wife really likes foxes, and I really like snow globes. Finch tuna juice. Made for finches, but humans can drink it too. You're missing half the back of your boat there, bud. Can't wait for the leaves to get a little prettier and then I'll take the GoPro and drive up and down the highway for like two hours and just capture a lot of nice footage. So I grabbed another uh, blaze orange long sleeve. And then I got this sweatshirt hoodie, which will be really nice to wear, but it'll also be useful for snow removal. Because once you get going, you get really hot, so getting around on one of these will be just fine. It even has like a built-in uh, face mask. New blade time. Just using that random stretchy strap I got at Menards. It took me less than like three minutes to get them changed out. It took like less than two minutes for the Troy built. You don't need a remote start, but it helps. We are getting so close it opens in two days. Well, they are harvesting. That still needs to be harvested. This big wheel, wide load ain't going any faster. So smile and wave and tip your hat to the man up on the tractor. Oh, they got theirs harvested too. But it's corn! A big lump with knobs, it's got the juice, it's got the juice. Couldn't think of a more beautiful thing, it's corn! New parking lot at Target's looking pretty good. Right across the street, we got the fancy dancy apartments that went up faster than I've seen apartments go up typically. The for rent signs are up if anyone wants to move to town. I got the grass seed down. I know, I do good work. Honestly, surprised there's not a squirrel in the in the camera right now. But like, for the last couple weeks, everywhere in the road is just squirrels running around with nuts in their mouth, getting ready for winter. But they're not smart because uh, they get out in front of my vehicle and then just stop, and I go slam on my brakes, and then they like cut back across the way they came, and it's like just finish. You were two feet from the other side. 
Smack Daddy's Gourmet Grub. Just the tip of that branch is uh, changing colors. I've been trying to make a 10 hour long sleep video, but I've been kind of having a hard time with it. So hopefully this time it works, and if it never airs, well, I gave up. So we're gonna be painting the inside of this dish pit area. Normally I wait for it to warm up to 50 degrees before I go out and do my mows and stuff, so I'm glad it's already 50 degrees. So I thought one of these 10 hour long sleep sound study music videos would be cool for building up watch time and grabbing some attention to the channel, but they take like two days to export and I don't even know how long it's going to take to put on YouTube, so probably won't be doing too many of these. Lunch break. As you know, we're not doing the empty lot anymore, but we got their house covered in their backyard. Our last mow here will be in two weeks. You know it's been getting cold because 68 starting to feel like 90. Beautiful flag in the sky. It can fly twice as high. Take a look. In a history book, America kicks ass. If this don't work out, I'm I'm just gonna focus on my music career. Advanced concrete. They're here to pump it up, lift it, don't replace it. Center section looks nice. Where the train tracks go, I'll never know. New roads are the best roads. So instead of having to drive up all the way down there, about a mile and a half or so, and then cut across and then loop back down here a mile and a half to turn, I just go up two blocks from that intersection that was closed off all summer and I make my turn. There's the airport. It's a time and gas saver for sure. That's why the deer cannot leave our yard alone. They're literally everywhere. My son got a Pokemon advent calendar for Halloween, but we just let him open them all so we could have the Halloween display up all month. Got this cool letter opener from South Africa. So I didn't show these off, but these are my Steins. This one's cool. It's about the Berlin Wall. And it came with a piece of the Berlin Wall and a certificate of authenticity. This one has a cool top. It's about the uh, American Gold Rush. And then this one's about the first river steam engine boat. So I'm grabbing these uh, security outdoor cameras. They say they got a two-year battery life. They're 50% uh, off right now. Typically 380, 190 right now. Save $190. Can't complain with that. We're gonna go ahead and give them a go. Standalone seems to be the best one. It was like one for 60, uh, two for 109 right now. 3 for 140 or then it went 5 for 190. Might want one of these one day for 250. So if you see anyone buy your equipment you can say, hey, get out of here. Now they said the night vision on YouTube isn't the greatest. I watched a few videos but uh, I have four uh, motion sensor floodlights so if those kick on the camera should have no problem. So today we're going to be unboxing and trying to set up the Blink Outdoor cameras. We got these 50% off at Best Buy. Got a pretty good deal on them. Let's see if they work. First appearance, they look really nice. Also, they say they have a two year battery life. Expect six months. Be realistic. Weather resistant. Uh, they have day and night HD view. Um, on YouTube, they said that the nighttime wasn't that great. So if you can get some floodlights to help it, that will help you. 
um, two-way audio motion detection, and then works with Alexa. So you have three there, two there, and then in that little area, you'll have that um, transmitter, cord, plug-in, five sets of screws. Uh, the two mounts go to those two cameras, I'm assuming. I'm assuming these ones are probably, yeah, they're down there. So, yeah. Not sure what that is yet. So those are like little keys. Take off that little rubber thing on there. And then you just open it, twist it a few times. And then below it was its own mount. And then two sets of batteries. So we got the batteries in. They're just 1.5 volt lithiums. Match the charging hole with the charging hole. Use one of those keys, just twist the back back on fast. The camera will flash now. Those two little pamphlets of paper are gonna be your information. It says we're gonna download the app, and then we're gonna add our sync module, and then we're gonna add our cameras. And they give you a QR code. So you download the app, then they're gonna email you a code, well, hit create account, and then they're gonna email you a code, and then go into your email, open it, then they're gonna text you a code. Go ahead and enter that code. And then from there, through the app, you will connect this. Pretty easy, there's QR code on the back that you scan, and then you just type in your uh, Wi-Fi password. And then you take off, keep the back panel off the camera actually because you're going to have to use the QR code that's on the inside to activate the camera before you put the cover back on. And then that'll basically be it. Um, the app will go through a few things with you and then you just, the mounts, you put them where you want with the screws and then you just snap them into that hole right there, easy peasy. Alright, uh, yeah, also I was playing with the video and set it up and have my son walk by and it would send me alerts saying there was motion and give me a little video so I'm happy with them. Alright, well thanks for watching. Hope this helps. Have a great day. Alright, well that's all she wrote for this week. Until next time, cheers more bids and vids. As always, have a great day.